I'm assuming everybody can hear me, right? Hey guys, hey guys, how are you? Well, we have been asked by popular demand because it's been a few weeks where we didn't do any dance intros and everybody was like, where is the dancing? So we thought that we would do a little bit of dancing tonight, although we had a little bit of debate there about what we should be dancing to Nickelback. I don't, I don't know. It's like twerking on Nickelback. Who dances to Nickelback? Everyone dances to Nickelback. Anyway, hey guys, welcome to our Thursday evening space with Anything Goes with Morella and Julia. We are so excited as we continue our summer series and you guys have been absolutely phenomenal with, you know, so much support, so much love for this platform. Yep, Julia sharing and uh, my producer is sharing and uh, we have our special guest Andre Johnson in the house tonight. He's going to be coming uh, into the studio in just a moment. We're really excited because you know what? We always meet so many interesting people and everybody always has such fantastic stories. And as you guys know, we've had so many diverse people on this uh, platform and in this studio that have so many different backgrounds. And you know what? There's so much commonality when it comes to community and we're really excited. And uh, Andre's got his story and we're really excited to have him share it. And if you guys have been on his uh, Facebook, you know that uh, he takes great care of himself. And really this segment, like like many segments, but uh, really is focused on overall health and well-being and taking care of your minds, taking care of your bodies and ultimately taking care of your soul and as you know uh mm -hmm. we're dancers yep. we go out and we dance that, and what you saw earlier was not an actual representation of how we dance no but that yeah. was just a little yeah well when you get going i mean we don't stop <laughs> we go for two three hours um and andre also uh does some dancing uh, maybe a little different than that but nonetheless uh he uh he really has uh, a very unique i think background and even we are looking forward to getting to know him a little bit better. So having said that, we hope that uh, we hope that Andre can come in anytime he wants in the studio. But in the meantime, what is going on this week? What's happening? What happened? There was so much that happened this week. Wasn't there? Well, and yet when we were talking about this, we were like, what did we do this week? Right? Yeah. I'm like, what? no, I can think about the weekend. OK, talk about. Yeah, the weekend was insane. We went to cabana pool bar and shout out to steven medarios who got us on a nice list yay we didn't steven. have to wait in a line for yeah. like yeah. an hour and a half just to you know walk yeah. in. that was, that was good. good that was good cabana pool bar is a whole other realm dimension <laughs> yeah i felt like i was in a different galaxy it was but it was fun what'd yeah, you like really about fun. it the best um definitely love the music the music was amazing the music was so good it was so good i think i shazammed more songs than i actually like yeah was you know it was good in the moment. does that make sense no it doesn't it was good when julia Ignore said me. that i had to go i was just like oh my god really like i'm gonna go to cabana pool bar i don't know even though we dance and we go out to clubs and we really have a good time and we enjoy ourselves but you know what you guys it was fan freaking tastic there were so many different people there different walks of life different ages you know yeah it was pretty good it was bomb it was how awesome. about how long did we dance for all day like we must have danced nine? for three four hours <laughs> no it wasn't one to nine but it was probably like three four hours for sure yeah it was it was good it wouldn't, was it was more than that wouldn't you say honest. it was hot 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 just like our show tonight so on that note let's welcome and hopefully he can hear us a round of applause for our special <laughs> guest andre johnson yes 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 <laughs> Oh, thank you. Take a seat in the yes. uh, the hot seat. The hot well, it's not seat. really the hot seat, but how you doing? Perfect. You look like you're ready to sit here and do a live show. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm ready. So how's it going? I'm good. We're just talking a little bit about... Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah I almost forgot about the mic. <laughs> yeah, he kind of needs a microphone. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's good? Need yeah. To closer. There we wait. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. I think so. A little, so. little yeah. more. Oh, raise it this. up. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Does that it's work? Good. Yeah. That sounds good. If you guys can't hear him or us, just let us know. How are things going? Things is good. Everything's good. Just 
taking life one step at a time. You know? One step at a time. Yes. Yeah. And how's your summer been? Um, pretty, pretty amazing. It's not, uh, it's not hot enough. I think like right now it's pretty cold and we're still in August. Yes. So I'm yes. thinking we're probably getting closer to winter, which is <laughs> pretty sad. You know, oh, I don't want to talk about it, but I you know, know. Yeah. is summer your favorite I'm season? Sensitive, guys. It is my favorite <laughs> season. Uh, it's I, I get to be outside. I get to, I train in the winter time, so yes. in the summertime I could just take it off, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we know. <laughs> and I just case, turn off the air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm just I just want to <laughs> say, okay, I I hope I it's okay because you know anything goes on our show. But so um, you guys might laugh. Um, so we were trying to find a picture of Andre to <laughs> put <Yay>. on. <laughs> The poster and <laughs> also to promote right and it's what we do and um so i i basically messaged him and said andre um i would love to put a picture on the poster do you happen to have one with a shirt on <laughs> and and he was like let me see what i can do for you so he comes back with a few with a few uh photos and uh but you know what the reason i mentioned this is because you work hard and you work you train hard you work hard um, you're proud of your body. You're proud of what you accomplish, right? And you just said it. In the summertime, you just get to take your shirt off and you get to, you know. And so people, you should be proud of that. And you should be able to display it. And so what ended up happening was after we released the poster from yesterday to today, I must have had about 150 women uh, basically say, holy crap, who is that? Or my personal <laughs> favorite. Someone said, when and where? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm and telling I'm like, you, but it's great, you know, and we're not yeah. saying this. We want you to be proud. We're not saying, hopefully we're not embarrassing you, but no, uh, it's a testament, you know, because yeah. you work hard for, for what you've got and what you, uh, what you achieve. Right. Truth. So that's why I asked you what your, what your favorite, uh, what your favorite season is. Summer is good. You know, funny when I'm in Jamaica, I don't even take off my shirt that much. You know what I mean? But like in Canada, it's like you're covered up the entire winter time. So mm-hmm. yes. summer times, summertime come, you just want to take everything off. You yes. Know? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's pretty hot in Jamaica, I would say. Yep. And you actually went back there uh, this yeah. year, right? Yeah, I was there in June of this year. Yes, I spent about six days. Oh, right, right. Yeah. That's right, because that's when we first chatted. And yes. uh, I told you I was going to go for a few, then I'll be back. And when I come back, we can talk and we can, you know, catch yes. up and see what we can do here. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, absolutely. And so you're used to that climate. Yes. Uh, but here, it's a little bit different. Like, it's, it's I don't know, we, we got some very humid, humid weather. And that's something I, I don't like. But I guess, you know. This year? Uh, did not this year. That's you, what I was about to yeah. say. This year, yeah, we didn't no, really get any. We didn't Maybe get a few it days. Was hotter last just year. a few days. Maybe it's the menopause, menopause talking, you guys. The menopause? The menopause. The menopause. Yes, the menopause. The menopause. Perhaps, <laughs> although I've been over it for a while now. But anyway. Same. Yeah, there weren't any Me humid too. days. Was I dreaming? Like, okay. No, there wasn't. It wasn't really. too bad? No. So what would you say would be, I know you went to Jamaica, what would you say would be a, a highlight, another highlight for your summer or even for your year this year, would you say? Uh... Pretty well. I'm j- I'm a chill guy. I just chill a lot. Um, every day is a highlight for me. Yeah, you know? um, yeah. I work at a, a a good life downtown. Yes. And I get to meet amazing people every day. I I'm, I also perform. Yeah. And when I perform, I get to meet get to meet amazing people as well. So I'd say like every day is pretty much a highlight. That's know? awesome. Yeah. Right. And by perform, we mean when you dance. Yes. And we're going to talk about that as well. <laughs> okay. um, but w- let's just, oh yeah, we're going to talk about a lot of things. Uh, Andre I think Johnson. It's an art. Okay. I, I agree. And I, I genuinely say that. No, I, 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 I have that. to tell you, y- you might laugh, you might not. Um, the first time I stepped into a gym, I was, I think maybe 18 or 19. The first time I stepped into a, um, establishment where there were male dancers I think I was 45 so and and I gotta tell you I was like I felt like a fish out of water I I was like what am I doing here my friends brought me and I was like okay I enjoyed it but it was really different for me it wasn't something that I was used to you know well, it's a good thing that you, you got that experience. And it's a great experience. You know, you probably get that shock of the first time you, you go there. But yeah. then, you know, your second time, your third time, you might not feel the same way. Because we're like, we treat people like family. So when you go to the club. That's nice. Yeah, we treat people like family. So it's not like, a, you know. That's nice. Yeah. It's kind of like the club we go to in Mississauga um, on the weekends. We've been regulars there for quite some time. And what I love about it, aside from the music, of course, and the ambiance, is we've developed a real family there with people that are regulars. So it's kind of like the same thing, it's maybe. Sa- it is the same thing. Once you come in, you know, you, you get your hugs. Um, 
we talk to you, we sit down and we talk to you. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's a, it's a great environment to be in for a weekend. If you come through, you could get your drinks. Um, the guys they sit down and they talk to you for a bit. You know, make yeah. you feel welcome. So oh, it's not that's like good. It's not like, you know, we we're not cocky or anything. We're pretty, pretty chill. Yeah. Do you uh, perform? Um, and obviously, we're gonna do a lot of, uh, we'll do a lot of promotion for you guys, especially uh, for you and and your teams, especially. Um, you know, there's a great uh, platform for people to get to know our guests. Do you perform at the same place or is it different venues? I think it is, right? Um, so there's the club downtown. It's called Club Cave. Club Cave. It's okay. Sh- I think I've l- heard of that. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's okay. at Lakeshore in Islington. It's a great spot. Club ca- Club Cave, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. It's a great gentlemen. spot. Yeah. Uh-huh. If you want to have a girls' night out, if you want to have a, if you're having a bachelor, if you're getting married, um, it is a great place to go and you know enjoy yourself. You right. Know, right. Let your hair down. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just let loose. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> let, have fun. L- let our hair down. I yeah. like the sounds of that. Let's see who's uh, who's in, and then we're gonna. T- I want to get uh, talking about sort of what got how you got into that, also how you got into your training, um, a little bit about your your story, if that's okay. Okay. Um, okay we got Ramsey. Hey, he has been Ramsey. our loyal, 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 loyal viewer from day one. Hey, Ramsey, how are you? Julia Scalise is watching. Who is that? <laughs> Ryan Raiden is watching. Hi, Ryan. How are you? <laughs> Ryan messaged me before the show, and he says, I'm really looking forward to tonight's episode. Ryan, you're awesome. Thank you. Uh, we've got uh, Christina McNall watching. Hey, Christina. How are you? Hey, Christine. Th- Right. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. She's awesome. She's she's just uh, set all these uh, everybody just sends wonderful, wonderful messages Ooh, Zach of Morgan's support. On the line. Yeah. Who is Hi, Zach? How are you? Oh, who is on the line? He's giving love who to is? us. <laughs> who is? <laughs> I, I Zach that. Morgan. I met him through Frank. Zach Morgan. Hey, Zach. How are you? Uh, Mandy McLeod is on. He is an amazing man. Uh, thank you, Mandy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Renato is watching. Hey, Renato, how are you? Thank you so much. Tammy Price is watching. He's so amazing. Great guy. Tracy Lee says Andre is a doll. Gonna make me cry, guys. <laughs> thank you guys so much. But it's so okay much. to cry. It's okay to cry. It's cry when you're happy. Thank you so much for tuning in. But you know what? That's a testament to, uh, to you as a person, right? Um, this is what I'm trying to say. It's like the first time, um, is, you know, like... How do I say this? I think two of the most, and Julia, please weigh in on this. I think two of the most intimidating places to be sometimes are inside of a gym, especially a co-ed gym, and uh, a place where there's, you know, male entertainers. And I say only that because um, as a woman and as someone who's bare children and has, you know, gotten older, I've always felt like now I'm, I own it. Like now I'm just like, you know, I feel very confident. I always have, but whenever I walked into a gym or, you know, into any place, I always felt like, you know what? I feel like I'm sticking out like a sore thumb, you know? But now I feel a lot more like I'm good, right? I feel really comfortable. So whenever I see, you know, men working out or I see, you know, men dancing or, yeah, I'm just kind of like, I wonder what kind of a person they are. I wonder if they're down to earth. If they're a people person. If they're a people mm-hmm. person, or are they arrogant, or are they are, are they playing the part? Like, are they really just like really chill humans? Like, I've always wondered that, right? Yeah. And I don't think I'm alone. So, tell me about you and and why you have obviously such a a great fan base and and what makes you you. So, in in anything that I do in life, I put people first. So people are, I would say, the most important thing to me because people makes me happy. Money yeah. don't make me happy. Right. When you love people, it, it comes back to you. You know what I mean? So because I love being around people, I love talking to people. Like I told your daughter here, like I, I love talking to people. This is what I do for a living. I, I, I work at a gym where I have to consistently talk to people every day. Right. In, main, in male entertain, in entertainment, I still have to talk to people on a regular basis. Even when I'm not working, yes. I have regular conversation with people on Facebook. They message me, hey, Andre, how are you doing yeah. today? Um, a very, very good friend of mine. Her name is Fern George. She lives in Hamil- She lives in um, London, Ontario. She always comes, comes to see our shows. Um, she messaged me today and she wrote me a long story. And I appreciate the fact that she wrote me that story. I replied to her. She sent me two pictures saying, hey, this is my before. This is my after. And these are the things that keeps me motivated. You know what I mean? Yes. So I don't have a problem speaking to people. I love talking to people. So when people see me, 
they are pretty much not intimidated. At first, they might be intimidated because they think they might think that I'm pretty cocky. But yes, once yes. they start talking to me, they get to realize that hey, this guy is really a nice guy. He's not cocky. Very chill and down you to know, earth. Mm. Down yeah. to earth person. Yeah. When you go to the gym, um, the gym is a different setting than the the club. When you go to the the gym, it's pretty much um, uh, you might feel the same, but everybody's in the gym for a different reason, and everybody's in the gym for a goal. Yes. Some guys want to get bigger. Some people want to get smaller. Some people want to get more fit. When you go to the gym, don't worry about what other people you might think that they are thinking because mm-hmm. they're not thinking anything. Right. They're pretty happy that you are in the gym. I'm happy when a fit person walks to the gym. I'm happy when a person who thinks they're not fit goes to the gym. I just want everybody to go to the gym. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's no stereotype. There's no stigma. It's just what you put inside your head. Hey, you know what? This person is watching me. Maybe I'm not doing this right. Maybe, you know, he's judging me or she's judging me. There's no judgment. Just go there, focus on what you're doing, put your headphones in, and kick ass. That's why I do the Julia method. The Julia method. Yes. If I see somebody who's, like, in shape or knows what they're doing, I'm like, hi. Uh, Excuse me. Hi. And I go up to this guy who has, like, arms or whatever, and I'm like, I hate... Me, I was insecure about my arms, and now I don't really care. I'm just like, hello. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I go up to him, like, hi. Please don't take this the wrong way, but can you um, show me how to get arms like yours, but maybe half of your arm? I don't want the whole thing. Just half (laughs) of your arm. So can you just show me how to do this? And they appreciate that you ask. Exactly. yeah, here, come here. 15 minutes of training. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I think? This is how I think about it. And you said it, and you just said it too, Andre. I think about it this way now. I think about it like, you know, how many people that are fit and really working um, to attain their goals and, and be really fit, like mentally and, and, and um, physically, how many people were in that boat? How many people were that person that walked into the gym and went, where do I start? Exactly. You know, everybody, how do I do this? Everybody has to start from ground zero. Right. What's yeah. that machine for? I don't even know how to use it. Or um, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm like the biggest person in here. So like, do I even belong here? But I feel like everyone started somewhere almost in the same spot. Yes. Right. Yes. And so you said it, it doesn't matter where you start as long as you start as long as you start and and would you mind like for everybody that might be considering you know joining a gym or getting on a exercise program or wanting to you know just improve their overall health what advice do you have for them just to even start you know you know what if you have kids think about your kids you want to be around to see your kids graduate high school you want to be around to see your kids graduate university you want to be around to see your kids make that money so actually yeah. they can start taking care of you you know what oh I yeah mean? i agree so take care of yourself <laughs> you are the number one priority yeah. you know what i mean not your kids yeah. not your husband not your wives you are because if you don't take care of you you know what i'm saying ain't nobody out there is going to take care of you as best as you take care of you so take care of your health take care of your fitness eat right make sure you get enough sleep exercise mm-hmm. just make sure you take care of you because um, you want to be around to, to, to see your family grow up. You want to be enjo- be around to enjoy your family. And if you make a lot of money, you want to be around to spend your money. And you know what I mean? It, and right? enjoy it. You want to yeah. go on your vacation. So right now you're probably working super hard to attain that, that those, those monies. You know what I'm saying? But you also want to be around to spend that money. So take care of yourself. Heart disease, diabetes, stroke. These things can be prevented by having a healthy diet, working out. You don't have to go to a gym. Do some running, ride your bike, lift some weights at home, Mm -hmm. but just work out. Dancing. You know, and dancing, exactly. (laughs) Yes. sure, dancing. Like like, like what they do on a regular basis. Maybe you can join them in the club in Mississauga. Um, Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what, Um, Andre, thank you. I want to ask you a question about myths, about uh, common myths about uh, dieting. But, uh, yeah, you guys know where to find us on the weekends. And and you know what? Um, One thing I did want to mention, sorry, and it just escaped me right now. It'll come back to me. But you were saying about um, uh, advice for people that, you know, want to start. It's never too late, right? Like like sometimes I see pictures of people that are even older than me, and I tell you, men and women, and they're looking so kick butt, right? Like they look amazing because they decided they want to take control you know, of their, uh, of their health. Um, I do want to do a shout out 
to Anytime Fitness in Richmond Hill, Young and Elga Mills. Shout out to Mass, who's currently in Barcelona. Get back so you and I can talk business. And I can take um, your place in Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Julia can take your place in Barcelona. To our uh, trainers, uh, Alicia and Liam and Leah and uh, everybody that's there, uh, you guys are unbelievable. So if anybody's in the Richmond Hill area and you guys want to talk to a wonderful team, Anytime Fitness, Young and uh, Elga Mills, that's our uh, that's our, our fit fitness home, you know. And I, I really believe it's what you said about people making you feel comfortable. Nobody's judging. Everybody's welcoming. No one's looking at you going, you don't belong here, right? Exactly. And I think that's really important. Everybody's there for a reason. Everybody's there for a purpose. Some people want to lose weight. Some people want to gain weight. Some people want to get healthier from the inside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's a no judgment zone. And we as people, we want to see you working out. We want to see you go to the gym. So even if somebody is looking at you in the gym, mm -hmm. in their mind, they're probably co um, complimenting you for even making the start and coming to the gym. So don't even think that people are judging you in a bad way. Think that they're probably congratulating you internally. You know, maybe if they yeah. could come say to you, that'd make you feel better. But <laughs> don't worry about people. Just go out there, kick ass, get it done. Because like I said, you want to be around to take care of your family, your kids, your grandkids. You know, you want to make sure that you know, everybody's good. Yes. Yeah. I dare mention this because I'm sure uh, lots of women will come and visit you, but uh, you work at the Good Life Fitness uh, downtown. Correct. And um, I know there's Good Life Fitnesses, you know, everywhere. everywhere yeah. But um, if you want to mention uh, which one, and if you don't, that's okay too. I'm just wondering, a lot of people that tune in do live in the downtown area. So if okay. they're thinking about coming in and starting some kind of program, you know, and they want to chat with you or anyone else that's there, I think that would be, that would be great, you know? Yes. Well, I work at the 137 Young Street location. It's between Richmond and Adelaide, right oh, by I the know Eden that Center. One. Yep. So yeah. I've been there. I've been there for a while. Yep. So I mean, if you want to come through, you can come through. I will give everyone who mentions that we were on this radio sh round talk show tonight. Yeah. Um, a seven day pass. In fact, I'll try to up it to two weeks for free. You can oh. try it out the gym and just do what you want. Okay. Do. Round of applause for that. Yes, that's awesome, you guys. Seven day pass, maybe two weeks. If you guys come through and mention. Uh, Andre and Rella and Juliet and our show tonight. That's really, really generous. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know, because some people too, like, you know, sometimes even, um, not that they use this as an excuse, but some people might not have the budget to start a, a fitness program, and so they're delaying, mm -hmm. delaying, delaying, right? But it's like you said, there's never, like, uh, like it's never too late to start it and try to focus on priorities. Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell yourself that it's too expensive. Right. The medication that we take is too expensive. That's expensive. Right. You know, like I, 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 I have I, like I have friends who are <laughs> taking medication. It, it costs money. You know, it costs a lot of money. I mean, That's insurance true. doesn't cover all of it, you know. So you don't want to spend your money on medication, and you don't want to be on medication for the rest of your life. Um, don't worry about the 60 bucks or the 50 bucks or the 40 bucks that you're going to spend for a gym membership because that money that you spend will give you a longer, happier life. You know what I'm saying? And you will feel a lot more, a lot confident, you'll be able to breathe better, you'll be able to, uh, your digestive system works better, your skin looks better, right. like everything looks better. You look younger when you work out, you know what I mean? So that's 60 bucks that you're spending, don't worry about it. Go in and, and check it out. Also, sometimes Amazing. people might tell you the gym is expensive, then you might not go to check it out to see if it's, if it's really expensive. You need to go, back, go for yourself, check it out for yourself because what they might consider to be expensive to you, it might not be expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I was uh, actually con uh, sorry calculating this uh, before, not anymore, but we used to go to the Tim Hortons drive through <laughs> at least twice a day. Come on, everybody put up your hand that goes to the Tim Hortons drive through at least <laughs> twice a day. Whatever, even if it's just for a coffee, or then you've got the ice caps, you've got the food, you've got the... When you calculate how much you spend just doing that twice a day for an entire month, it's actually more right than what a gym membership exactly. would cost, yeah. right? Downtown Toronto, people don't <laughs> people go to Starbucks and Starbucks is not It's even more expensive. Yeah. yeah. So you can you can definitely afford it. Sometimes you just have to look about what you're spending the money on versus what you should be spending the money on. Right. You know, do you really need this or do you need the gym membership? You know what I mean? And like I said, you don't have to go to Good Life. There's Fit for Less, there's Planet Fitness, there's Anytime Fitness. Oh, that's there's it. many different gyms in the city. So you can go to any gym, but just go to a gym. 
Yeah, exactly. Shout out to uh, Gloria Bryan, our friend. She has been on a health kick of late. Uh, she's been posting some video and some uh, photos of her really working it. And she's at Planet Fitness. And I really commend her. Um, and she just decided, you know what, the time was now to get back into a more healthier, you know, state of mind and body, right? So Gloria, hopefully you're watching. And if you're not, I hope to see you soon. Um, I just want to do a shout out. Uh, of yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Was, go, baby. You oh, okay. Well, Brian Reed and says my motto when it comes to working out is that once you enter the gym doors leave your ego at the door i remember starting oh my god i remember starting out at 19 i had a beautiful woman spot me with the, with oh my god with the just with, with just, just the barbell, barbell. Yeah. Oh, okay sorry guys so press. many words okay barbell for bench press now i'm 41 and i recently hit up to 385 pounds on bench press wow. it takes time but you just have to keep your vision and remember that like everything else the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step way to wow. go ryan ryan way to go a ryan. so good man can i get an amen in here amen amen, <laughs> amen ryan that's so <laughs> fantastic so proud of you um Marka is watching. Hey, Marka, how are you? Our dance friend, Mary Puntara, is watching. Hey, Mary, how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Tracy Lee says you are sweet and kind. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Um, Fritzy Go is on. Hello, guys. She says, hey, how are you? Uh, we've got so many. I think I know I'm probably <laughs> missing a few here, but... Kim, Kim, Wil <laughs> Wilson, Kim Wilson says, hey, I Kim. love when people say, check with your physician before starting any exercise program. <laughs> You'll be checking with your physician way more if you don't exercise in some Ah, uh, yes <laughs> nice i like that one Proper. so true, true kim kim so looking forward to your event guys august 20th this tuesday night uh myself and a whole bunch of speakers are going to be at the hub inc in kitchener waterloo if you guys haven't gotten your tickets in achente brewing company 6 30 p.m kim thank you again for the opportunity we're all going to be talking about our journeys as entrepreneurs and you know this is you know you talk about uh, a family feeling you talk about um, uh, meeting people whether it be in the gym or, or where you dance or what have you and it's nice you know because we have so many great communities the speaker communities entrepreneur communities uh, you know just friendship communities and everybody trying to you know support one another and it's great yes it is you know um, I, I have such a such a huge passion for fitness you know I, I moved to Canada in 2011 and uh, I was I worked for Good Life from 2012 until about 2016 for four years. I love the company so much because they they have um, they they take care of the the people. They take care of the people that comes to the gym and mm -hmm. they take care of their employees. And I, I I went to Jamaica for two years after that because I wanted to I wanted to to to, to do my own. And I took Good Life concept. <laughs> Shouldn't be saying it over there, over there. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> anything but goes you talk about whatever yeah, you like but I went to Jamaica and I <laughs> We're brought not hearing anything. I brought my own gym to Jamaica I opened my own gym in Jamaica so I can amazing. actually change people's lives in Jamaica and you know oh. it's doing amazing I have changed a lot of lives and people appreciate the fact that you know the gym is there and it's not about money because um, I, 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 of course it's profit you know we do it for profit sure. but you know my priority was to change and one, life, one life at a time in Jamaica, whether it be mentoring somebody who needs mentoring or whether, it, you know, helping someone lose weight, gain weight, gain muscle, you mm -hmm. know, just bring that health and fitness um, lifestyle into yes. that community so people can start living that happy and healthy lifestyle. You know what I mean? So you know, it, but, and I think that if, if I were good life, Hi, Fern. I, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I was going to say, if I were good life, I'd feel very honored. The fact that you felt that their um, recipe for success and how they treat people was so good that you wanted to adopt it and bring it back to Jamaica. Yes. Right. Um, so that's uh, that's amazing. And so uh, how long ago was that that you brought it back there? About two, three years ago then? Uh, a year and a half. It's been going for a year and a half. Now. OK. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure there's been a lot of success stories. Yes. I have a lot of people who messages me every day. And pretty much these people have direct contact with me. So if they want me, all they have to do is send me a Facebook message or send me a WhatsApp message. And boom, they're getting contact with me. That's so amazing. I don't hide. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, what are some myths? Um, like. Uh, you can go on Google, you can read books, you can, and you can, there's a, like a ton of diets out there. There's a ton of like uh, exercise programs out there. There's a ton of do's and don'ts, right, out there. Tons and tons and tons. But I also feel like there's a lot of myths. You know, what people believe. Well, there's the myth that if you eat late, you're going to gain three pounds overnight. <laughs> that, that's not a myth? Apparently. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> Apparently, that's the don't ever eat late at night. Yeah, like like stuff like that. What would you say are some common myths that are out there that are really not really myths that people shouldn't be so so focused on? Like because I think people sometimes focus on like oh I have to do this or I can't do that or you know because it's this common thing that's been going around for decades. Um, one of the myths that I want to really talk about is <coughs> the fact that w- women, a lot of women, they don't want to lift weights because they think that they're going to look like a man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've right. heard that. Right. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that. Have you guys heard that? Well, I already look like a man, so. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you, don't. Don't. you look awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, no, ladies, you will not look like a man if you lift weights. If you want to look like a man, you can by taking <laughs> testosterone, but you don't need to take that. Lift weights, gain muscle, be solid. The more muscles you have as a female, the more fat and calories your body burns at rest. So if you're lifting weights on a regular basis, eat whenever you want. You can eat at 2 o'clock in the morning. You can eat at 8 o'clock at night. Whenever right. you want to eat, you right. can eat as right. long as you, you are lifting weights. Because if you lift weights today, when you go to bed, your body's burning calories and fat while you're sleeping. Okay, you're right. Lift weights. Don't be scared of weights. Everybody, lift weights. I lift e- weights. I eat around the clock. I eat six, seven meals per day. <laughs> I eat a lot. <laughs> I've seen some of your b- posts. Like, yes. like it's literally like it's a science to yeah. everything that you have. And <laughs> I eat you, a lot. But you eat like throughout the day. I eat throughout and, the but day. But you're burning. Like you're yeah, burning, I eat, right? I eat. I eat. That before it, 12, 1 o'clock, I'm having three meals because I wake up early. Right. And I'm having meals before I go to bed. And I'm probably waking up if I'm hungry and I'm eating again. Right. So I eat. So if you want to gain weight, you eat. If you want to lose weight, you eat. If you want to maintain, ah. you eat. It's, it's all about eating. How you eat, what you eat. So that brings me to my next myth. Um, the myth that if you don't eat, you will lose weight. <coughs> so if you don't <laughs> right? if you don't eat, your body stores fat. That's it. Yeah, if you don't eat, your body stores fat because your body has to feed off of something. It's yes. going to store the fat. So eat. And how many times have our bodies spoken to us and said, could you please put some food in us? Yes. And we're eat. looking at our hips going, yeah, I get it. It's just about what you eat. Cut out sugar. Sugar is bad for you. Sugar is bad. Yeah, yeah. Sugar, is, sugar is a killer. Right? So cut out sugar. Fruit sugars is good. Eat fruits. Is fruit sugar okay? Yeah, fruit sugar is good. Eat shoot, um, fruits and you get sugar from that. What about the whole high, high, high protein, low, low, low carb? Um, like I said, eat. <laughs> eat. You heard it. You heard it from Andre. It's okay to eat, but you have but to lift weights. Yeah, you have to lift. Don't just go to the gym and do cardio. You go to the gym and you, and you do cardio. You go home. Your body stops burning fat, stop burning calories as you get off the treadmill. You need to lift weights. Right. If you don't know how to do it, what do they do? Go to the guys and ask them how yeah. to do a bicep curl because you yeah. want yeah. Like, can so you show me how to use that rope thing? Yes. <laughs> that rope th- that I don't rope know thing. how to use that rope thing. <laughs> it looks difficult. But you know what? It's interesting because um, uh, you were saying about the cardio. So w- w- really what you should be doing is cardio and weights. Cardio ide- and weights, ideally, correct. Ideally, yes. right? Cardio and weights. How much... Um, how much is a good amount of time to be exercising a week? Like, do you got to go every single day? Like, you, what, what are your thoughts? You don't have to go every single day. Uh, I w- well, it's, they said two to three times per week, but I say three to four times per week is good. Right. Yeah, lift, lift weights and cardio. Three to four but times. But we should put this in our daily routine. You wake up, you drink your coffee, you eat, you go to the gym. Put the gym in your calendar. Once you have it in your calendar, you can make it happen. Yeah. You know, don't take the gym as a chore. It's not a chore. Um, uh, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, I, I was going to say it's a lifestyle. And how much discipline do you need? And in, in other words, I feel like you need a lot of discipline to get started. But then once you get going, um, you basically motivate uh, yourself to keep yes. going. It's easier. What yes. would you say about that? Yeah, that's true. It's hard to get. It's, it's really, really hard to get started. But then you have to think about your goal. What is my number one goal? Yeah. What is it that I want to achieve? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do I want to gain weight? Do I want to lose weight? What is it that I want to achieve? And then once you put that in your mind, then you'll go for that purpose. You yes. know what I mean? So So uh, I think we can all agree, Andre, you look fabulous. Oh, thank like you. absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and I'm sure it's like Photoshop. No, seriously. <laughs> the Photoshop <laughs> expert, right? Yes. By that airbrush. I'm you look kidding. fabulous. I think we can all agree on this. Fantastic. It's the kind of physique that yeah everybody wishes they had especially if they're men and uh and that women adore okay how long 
did it take you to get to this point? Because this is not an overnight thing. This is not something that's going to take a couple of weeks and you're good. This took years, right? It took some time. Yeah. Ray, um, as Rayan, Rayan started when he was 19. I also started when I was 19. Oh, okay. Um, but Rayan can attest to this as well. Rayan, um, as we get older, we look better. At 19, we started. Now we're in our late 30s and early 40s, and we look better than we looked when we were 19. So, Excuse you, me. You yeah. keep going. No, just I got to step away. From we we pretty much reverse aging when we work out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we just have to, yeah. you know, know Sorry. what we want. I'm back. She was trying to show off the booty. <laughs> no, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it, though. <laughs> Squats, weights, just like Andre said. But uh, it's a work in progress. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, that's okay. So you were saying that from 19, you've, you've worked at it for quite some time. And, and as you get older, do you notice changes, too, in terms of your – does it take – is it harder to achieve what you've got? Is it harder to mm -hmm. maintain, or does it come easier – like you said, it you don't have to be there every day, but... Right now, it is a natural thing. Oh, okay. You wake up, you you think about working out because it is what we do. We live the lifestyle. It's like, it's yes. now embedded in us. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like um, drinking water, you would say, or it's like putting on our clothes, or it's like eating, you know? It's like, we have to go to the gym. It's like what we do, you know? Yes, take a week, yes. take a, a, a couple of days off, maybe like a Friday and a Sunday. But uh, um, I try to do at least five days per week because I was it's gonna like embedded in me. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I was going to say, if you don't go for a week for whatever reason, do, wouldn't you feel bad or guilty? You feel I, like you're missing yeah. something I in do, your life, I do. I do right? feel bad and I do feel guilty. I feel like I'm missing a lot. So I try to make sure that I go. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, listen, yeah. I'm telling you, you look fabulous. Thank and you. Um, I do want to ask you, um, well, let me just check on the, the comments, but I want to ask you what came first, the, uh, the working out and getting to this point where – um, you know, you, you're, you're, uh, you work at Good Life, you really take care of yourself, you help other people take care of their bodies. Did that, that whole mindset and lifestyle come first, or did the da dancing come first? You know what? Um, my, my, I had a cousin, I have a cousin, he used to call me chicken chest because I was so skinny <laughs> when I was like younger. Chicken you know, chest? Maybe chicken one day, chest. Maybe one day I'll post my before and after picture on <laughs> Facebook should. so you guys can see. You should. But yeah, my cousin used to call me chicken chest because I was super skinny, right? But then I told him, one day I'm going to be at a point where you're going to ask me for help. So I'm at that point now where he's asking me for help. Is he? You know, I'm he's super proud of myself. Is he like looking at you going, wow. Yeah, he yeah. is. Because you know what? I never stopped and I had a goal. I really wanted to be better than where I was when he called me chicken chest. So I kept going and I kept going until I passed him. And I kept going and I kept going because it just feels good. You know what I mean? Yes, so yes. I give him a lot of credit because he was the one who started me off in the gym. So that's where it started. Yes. And then from there, it just kept going up and up and up. And then right now, I'm like, the gym is my home away from home. I spend more That's time it. at the gym than I spend at home. Yeah, I yeah. believe it. Yeah. And so at some point in your – okay, we'll, we'll table this for a second. I want to ask about the uh, uh, the dancing. <laughs> so we've got uh, – Kim says, can't wait to see you. Um, Kim, uh, me as well. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Fern George says hello. Fern, thank you so much for, for tuning in. Hello. Um, Kim says imitation is the greatest compliment. Yes. That is that very, is very true. true. Um, Fern says, sorry, uh, miss you, Andre. And we've got Christina McNall. I've heard that before about the use of weights, right? Yes. Uh, so that uh, for sure. And that's why we, we say about these myths because there's so many common myths and there's so much advice different advice be given from different people about different things and it confuses you you know what it is i i would say um right now we spend a lot of time on social media because it's right there at the tip of our fingers right so yeah. instagram is a prime example if you want to learn how to eat go to instagram if you want to learn how to work out, go to Instagram. There's a lot of things you can learn from Instagram, a lot. There's bad stuff that you can also pick up, but try to, you know, decipher, try to decipher which is good from which is bad. You know what I mean? But go to Instagram, go to Facebook. You can learn a lot from that. YouTube, Google, Pinterest to learn how to cook. There's so many outlets out there where yes. you can yeah. learn how to do these things. But a lot of people spend their time on social media looking at Kim Kardashian, looking at Jennifer Lopez, looking at all these stars. These stars have a personal trainer. Yes. They have their personal chef. We can't afford that. So what we have to do, we have to personally use Google, YouTube, Pinterest, um, Facebook, and Instagram as our university. 
And you know what? I have you mentioned Jennifer Lopez. Like I, I honestly, uh, she is. Um, I have such respect for her because uh, she's like in her late forties. She looks absolutely fabulous, and of course, she's a singer, an actress, and a dancer. And she dances so much. And of course, we have respect for people that can sing and dance. And she, she's in such fantastic shape, and she's got a great attitude, you know. Yes. And she rocks it. Like she just for for me, uh, I think she's my girl crush. I have to say, <laughs> I don't want to say anything about Kim. Kardashian but anyway uh, love but you're, Kim Kardashian no but you're right they have personal trainers and that's what and that's what people forget as well and 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 they've got personal chefs and they've got you know meals being delivered to them but I, I give a lot of respect to Jennifer Lopez and, and people that have a lot of like dancing in their in their um, excuse me in their routines for when they're performing it's pretty rigorous yeah. right she doesn't stop she's in fabulous fabulous shape still looks the same as when she was like 19 she looks fabulous <laughs> i'm telling you uh li i hope i re uh, pronounce this right liz anton says hi andre hi liz <laughs> leah ortega is watching hey lovely how are you thank you so much for tuning in Teresa, our dance friend is watching hey Teresa, how you doing uh ryan says andre is correct even when i am not in the gym i try and do push-ups and sit-ups Oh, yeah, my favorite and Julia's, not. In <laughs> fact, that was my mantra when I was not able to go to the gym all the time after work. When I come home from work, I would just go home and do push-ups and sit-ups in front of the TV while I watch the news. Yep. So that's good. Like that's, 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 yeah. that's, that's, that's something, and that's really fantastic, Ryan. Thank you for sharing. I've got, and I'm sorry, I don't want to know, Faye. Okay. And Coulomb. I'm not even going to try. She says, hey, Faye, how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Michelle McKellar says, Andre is just not a pretty face, an amazing body. He is a very smart businessman. Uh, thanks, Michelle. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you know what? Get we're going to talk shoes. We're going <laughs> to talk about this. We're going to talk about building our brand as a business. I'm going to talk about that in a second, okay? I think that's really important. I like that. Um, yeah, Faye says such a good guy, and uh, Fern <laughs> says go J-Lo. J -Lo. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if you want to love it, let me go, you. I don't know the lyrics. No. I don't know either, but well, let's just do let's it. Just <laughs> let's just do it. Yes. Yeah. Or waiting for tonight. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Julia is also going to sing a song. Oh, Julia always sings something I'm not tonight. Singing something. No, prepare because she always sings no, I'll something. No, I'll sing Happy Birthday. No, and Joseph, our producer. So, so Joseph and Maria, uh, applause for them. Frequency Five FM. <laughs> Uh, they do such a great job with us, and uh, I always say that Joseph is Julia's biggest fan because he always wants her to sing. But so does everybody else, and so yeah, you get to pick something tonight before the show is over. I didn't prepare, so you never prepare, and you always. I'll just sound post fantastic. a separate video on my Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. No, you're so come good. on, and chat. That's, let's that's what go. We talk about like the feeling of music and dance to yes. bring to keep us alive, you know, yes. to keep us going. Um, so I want to mention. I know we want to talk about business as a brand but before we get to that um, let's talk about um, in terms of when did you start um, dancing like when did you start and you know I got to tell you one other thing one of my dance friends sent me an invitation to uh, an event uh, this was in Niagara Falls I think recently yeah. and I think you guys were performing I think yes. it was your yeah. group right we but i didn't know i met andre two three months ago and you know like he's mentioned he he performs at different places anyway i had no idea so she sent me this thing and kind of like a girl's night and everything and i couldn't actually make it and i didn't see the ad close up and then when i saw it i was like <laughs> oh my god that's andre and his group <laughs> oh which god. is yes. fantastic because no because normally you're like remember we talked about the intimidation factor yes. right and uh and i and i said to everybody i said oh that's going to be our guest on august 15th and of course they were all like oh my god we're tuning in but anyway mm -hmm. but the point is is that it's something that you do you obviously love you obviously use the ability and to be in such fantastic shape to be able to perform and to dance. What got you into it and what do you love so much about it? You know what? Um, that's a great question. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> so um, my cousin, Marlon Burbridge, he's a great performer, people person. One time I was in New York City and he said, yo, let's, let's go to this event. I'm gonna perform. I didn't know what it was, but he was. I was like, okay, let's go. Yeah. So I went to this event, and 
it was ladies' night in Russia. Okay. But they had a ladies' night in Brooklyn that night. Okay. So it was like stadium seating, and a couple guys performed before him. They were okay. But then when he went out, I was in awe. I was shocked, you know, and then people just kept throwing stuff at him, and I'm like, <gasps> whoa. I had what? to... He he was he was so shocked that he kept taking the money up and giving it back to the people because he thought that it was it was unreal. <laughs> oh, nice. okay, okay, wow. <laughs> so yes. I, I thought you meant like throwing stuff no, as in like money. like money. go to hell. No, was I was thinking clothes. <laughs> it was <laughs> money, so I was like, whoa. So yeah. I was like, you know what? I think I want to do that. So we went back to Jamaica, and in Jamaica we we started our own group, and I couldn't dance for. Can I say shit? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you absolutely he can. couldn't dance for so shit, ladies dance and gentlemen. For shit when I was in Jamaica, <laughs> but you know, it was a group and it was called Divine Man of Choice. And you know, I was the worst one because we all we went on stage and I was the worst one. But I hate to be last. I hate to be the worst. So mm -hmm. I practice, mm -hmm. I practice. I watch YouTube. There you go. YouTube was my YouTube was my university. I made it happen. YouTube so, was your university. Yes. I love that. I <laughs> so, love that. Yeah. So I went to YouTube and I just copied everything I learned. I, I just kept learning and I kept going and I kept going until I became just, just this, you know, amazing person. And then I moved to Canada in 2011. And when I came to Canada, the first place I went to was the strip club because I wanted to perform here. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So you practiced back home. Yes. And then you, okay. And then I came it. here 2011 and yeah. then I just went and boom. Then I met up, met, um, an amazing guy. His name is Jeremy. Jeremy Spit. Big up yourself, my youth. Shout and out. <laughs> Jeremy, um, you know, me and him came together and we made it what it is. Made it happen. Yeah. How did you know where to reach out to find these folks that are in the same uh, business? I had connections from Jamaica where people from Canada and oh, brought okay. me to places. Okay. And then I kind of like got to know people. And then, oh, yeah. Okay. Took, took so you've been there. doing it for like seven, eight years, let's yeah, say. Wow. Well. Pretty much. I don't know how much you want to share or how little, but what is the craziest thing that's ever yeah, happened Yeah, I was actually going to gonna ask that. I, like, I, I've always wondered because, <laughs> you know what? No, you know why I'm asking? Because <laughs> I love what you said about family and, and people coming together and having this you know sense of community. And it's a job, but it's a passion. And, and you love what you do. You're good at what you do. You get up there. You're performing. You're, you're, you're putting spells on millions of women's faces, I'm sure. But there's, uh, I, I always wonder. There's got to be some crazy stories. Um, what's kind of some? If you if you'd like to share, wh what are some of the things that maybe happened that you were not expecting at all, and how would you have handled them? Um, I probably would have to process that for a bit. Think about like what is the craziest yeah. thing that happened. Um, I, I just wonder you because want, I could share my crazy story at the strip club. Why don't you say okay? Why don't you do that while we <laughs> while, while think about Andre it. processes no, the question? I can, I, can, I, can, I can talk about it Fair pretty way. much. Um, when when you're pretty much performing on stage, it, the the you you are connected to the music as well as the music is connected to you. Yes, it's like a direct connection, right? So the passion that you that you let out, people can feel it, and because people can feel your passion they pretty much do anything. So sometimes they take off their their clothes and they pretty much uh, they're, they're, they're pretty much their underwear and they throw, <laughs> throw, throw, <laughs> throw it on the stage. That's kind of what I was thinking about when you said that your cousin was yeah. being thrown things and I'm like, it was probably women's underwear. Like, I mean, you yeah. know. So wow. that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, and when you're done, you, you, you can either pretend keep it <laughs> Pre pretend keep it yeah <laughs> or you can take yours and throw it back and be like we're chewing a trade off you know, oh my you god can, you can keep mine and I keep right yours. yeah 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 that's possible that's pretty much how that goes but yeah that's pretty much one of the craziest things we are pretty calm as entertainers yes we yes have fun you know we enjoy what we do it's live it's lit as they say in toronto right yes, now yes so yes yes yeah. always lit. live and and do what? you guys so okay i'm thinking right now Magic Mike. I can't <laughs> help it. Duh. And yes, I saw Magic Mike 1 Duh. and 2. Duh. And yes, Duh. I really loved Channing Tatum back in the day. Um, I uh, Do you guys um, uh, practice? I, I would suspect you guys practice. You've got routines that you normally use, maybe new routines. How does it all kind of come together? Because it's still, you still got to put some thought into it, I would think, right? Well, well, for group shows, we definitely have to practice group shows. Um, we... Sometimes we have like weekdays where we go in and we 
two practices yep. for group shows. Yep. Um, then we just released those. Um, they just released a new one recently, so that's actually taking a trend right now. Okay. Um, in terms of individual performances, you create your own performance. So okay. you choose music that you love and you can perform to, and your routine comes with the music set. For each music, you do something completely different. Right. So you have like 15 to 20 minutes on stage, and you just go out there and crush it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So you've got your own individual and then you've got your group routines as well. That's correct. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. And I would think too that with all that dancing, that kind of complements and goes beautifully with all that training. Yes, it does. Right? It does. It does. Because then when you're up there, you just you could just stand up and because of your your, your symmetry, your symmetry. Yes. You know. Yes. People just are like, "Wow. He looks like a a god, you know? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a gem. Well, we don't, I don't know. I don't go to strip clubs often, but yeah, I can imagine. Looks right? like we're going to have to start. <laughs> we are going to have to start. Um, okay, let's just see here. Jimmy's on the line. Hey, Jimmy. He says, hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. My other baby girl, Felicia, is watching tonight. Hey, Felicia. We keep talking about Bye, having Felicia. you come in, coming in here for Sorry, a cameo. We're waiting for that to happen. Jimmy says, you look just like me. Same build after I put my Superman costume. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you probably look like this naturally. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Lisa Beecroft is watching. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Our family. Um, how are you doing? Domenica is watching. Hey, Domenica, how are you doing? Haven't seen you at Blues in a while. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's talk about like business as a brand. And, and the reason I say this is because um, I, I'm wondering, how do, how do you get hired? Like So in other words, I'm, I'm, because you've been doing it now for so long, you have your... Um, word of mouth, you've got your, um, everybody knows you, you've got your outlets, you've got social media, you're promoting, you're advertising, you've got your clientele, you've got your sort of loyal, you know, uh, folks, the customers that come on out. Um, how do people, if they want to hire you, how do people book you? But also, more interestingly enough, at the beginning, when you guys were having your start, how did you guys start to get, you know, your name out there so people could find you and want to hire you so now you've got this you're on a momentum because you've been doing this for so long yeah. but you still want to you know i'm sure every weekend you guys have gigs and what have you but how okay. do they go about it so pretty much there is the club and the club is located on lakeshore boulevard right islinton. club cave everyone for club those who missed everyone, it at yeah. the beginning yeah it's at islinton and uh, lakeshore right you can go there fridays and saturdays you can check us out right in terms of in the beginning when we first started it was hard. So we had to drive to different cities and connect with different club owners in order to get those clubs popping. Yes. Facebook, we didn't have Facebook marketing at that time. So we had to pretty much go to these cities with posters. Yes. And hand them out manually. So we had to do what we call gorilla marketing. Yes. Once we get three, four hundred people in a club at one time, that's it. Because now we can connect with these people on Facebook. We can connect with these people on Instagram. Yes. So when we're going back to that city, we could just post that we're going to come back those three four hundred girls will see the post they will tell their friends their friends will tell their friends and then that's how the word and spread. the numbers are double triple and quadruple yes yeah. and that's how yeah. it spreads but it first started out with guerrilla marketing yes yes so you would actually go into clubs and go hey guys like we'd like to perform uh give us a shot on a friday night or a saturday uh, night or pretty much you? on a sunday or a weekday because friday saturday we're in toronto oh okay okay yes. So now, so you guys are in Toronto Fridays and Saturdays, but then you've got these out of town yes. spots that you do as well. Yes. So how busy are you with all this? Like you must be busy seven days a week or? Mm -hmm. um, like it's pretty busy. I think for even this month, I think um, the guys got like, uh, today's the, the 15th. Yeah. So we got the 18th, I think the 20th. Um, so pretty much Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right. for the entire rest of this month, it's booked out. Sarnia, um, Windsor, um, London, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And we, we go everywhere. For my family in Windsor, just I uh, hope you heard that because yeah, yeah. Uh, Andre and his uh, <laughs> group are coming out and for everybody else as well. I'm sure it's a, a great time. And that actually, you, you, you 
you mentioned this, you picked it up. So here's a poster, you guys, and I've been posting it on my social media and on my pages as we've been promoting the show. Um, I want you to obviously say something about it, but here are the, the, the details as I know them. Saturday, August the 24th. Uh, it's a daytime event from 2 p.m. to midnight. I looked at this poster, and the first thing I thought was, oh, my God, this is going to be pretty hot because there's hot people all over the place with gorgeous bodies. And uh, it is taking place at the Aquari Aquario Beach Club in Pickering. Tickets oh, early bird are thirty nine ninety nine. And what I do know about it is, oh, yeah, here it is. Many dancers, <laughs> oh, yeah. large pool. Hot tubs, 11 cabanas, hammocks, two DJs, food and drinks, and much more. I'll be there. And, like, and, and <laughs> yeah. for everyone who is, um, who's tuned into this show, who want to attend this event, if you mention that we met on this station here, yeah. you can definitely um, inbox me, yeah. and I will honor a 15 or 20% discount. Oh. Yeah, just have to confirm. But Amazing. yeah, Amazing. So do you guys hear that? Andre's going to confirm it's, if it's okay, twenty 15 or 20% off the ticket price. I know we're going to do the discount. Yeah. Either 15 or 20%. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Just message um, Andre if you're interested. And again, um, I will post these on the recaps again later tonight or tomorrow. They're already on my page. And um, you get a discount. Message Andre if you want to go. And uh, Andre can be found um, on Facebook. And I've been tagging him so you can find him. And he can also be um, found on Instagram. And what's your Instagram handle? It's Andre, A N D R E underscore Jim Rocks, G Y M R O X. So it's Andre underscore Jim Rocks. And the Jim Rocks stands for Jim Rocks Fitness, my gym in Jamaica. That's amazing. And the gym rocks. Yes, the gym rocks. There you go. <laughs> like right? Gym yes. rocks. And the gym rocks. And they all look like The Rock. <laughs> and they all look like The Rock. Yeah. Okay, another one of my celebrity crushes. I can't even lie about that. Um, I want to talk about, hang on one second. I want to talk about, uh, oh, Christine. Uh, Christine Althaus is watching. Christine, thank you so much. Sonia White says, hey, sweetie, good to see you. <laughs> So that, thank you so much for tuning in. I have to tell you, so here's how I met Andre. Now, I always mention this with our guests every single week. It was very interesting because when we do platforms like this, right now we have um, a lot of people that are um, part of this, part of our platform, part of what we're doing on Anything Goes. And um, we've got people who want to be on the show, and it's fantastic. And Julia and I are very proud of this, you know, very proud. And while we were, um, I guess, branding our vision and what we wanted to do with the show right it's like you are you know you're saying like you're branding what you're doing and you're meeting yes. with so many different people um the best way to do that is to literally talk to people is to reach out is to say hi and the thing about social media is people that know me know me i'll message and they'll be like hey Rella, how's it going how are you what's up what's going on today when you're a woman who's messaging some random guy on social media and Facebook and you're talking about, you know, how's it going and I've got this show and they're just like looking, probably going, what the hell is going on? And this happened a number of times, but not that they, they were like that. It was just more like, okay, what is this all about, right? Mm -hmm. And now um, many, if not all of these people were like the best of friends because they really do understand the, the community side of it, right? And the support side. Anyway, so Andre and I had some mutual friends and you uh, popped up as someone that I might know. And I see his profile picture. And if you guys have missed it, uh, it was a fantastic photo. And I'm like, wow, this guy's really bold. And he must be into personal fitness. Uh, I didn't know about the dancing, but you know, it wasn't too hard to figure out afterwards. So I reached out to him. And when I went on his Facebook, I did see that he's got all these unique sides to the, 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 the health side of things and dancing we love to do. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have someone like yourself on our show? Awesome. And that's how it's it an all. Honor. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> I reached out and Andre was, I mean, I think you were not hesitant. That's not the right word. But I think you were a little apprehensive because I'm sure you get tons of messages from women all over the place for all kinds of things. Right, anyway, they, uh, this woman doesn't have a show. She's You cool. know what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> like it, it, it all depends on the intro to the conversation. Right. So. If you say, <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah. if yeah. you say, hey, sexy, I know where it's going. Right. Yes. Like you our Tinder time. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, didn't, you didn't approach me like that. You were very professional. 
And yeah. I was like, whoa, I'm going to listen to what you're saying. And then I listen to you and I'm like, yeah, this is perfect. I have a lot of conversations on Facebook because I talk to the people who show me love all the time. When yes. I was in Jamaica for two years, many people spoke to me while I was there. Shout out to Chris, um, Kristen for keeping me company while I was in Jamaica. Yay, shout Big out. up yourself. Um, but yeah, it all depends on the interest of the conversation. That will determine if I will continue to have a conversation. Right. You you were very professional. You kept it clean. You did yeah. very well. So I was like, yeah, definitely I'm going to you know, listen to you speak. And then I don't trade my number. I don't give my phone number over right. um, Facebook, but I gave you my number and yeah. you called me. Yeah. And we spoke well. And I was like, yeah, definitely I would love to you know, to do this, this, the show with you. And, uh, um, yeah, we didn't really talk a lot. You sent me information yeah. because I'm super busy with like work and like managing my gym from here. So, um, yeah, we spoke and she was amazing. And then I was like, yeah, definitely want to come on and kick thank some ass. Thank you very show. much. Thank yeah. you. You're and welcome. you know what? You actually, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that immensely. Um, you talk about the intro. Let's talk about the intro. Oh, okay. God. Julia, this is your segment. Um, every single week on the show, <laughs> we always have at least five minutes where we talk about um, dating and relationships. And uh, uh, we actually um, have a segment here uh, with our, our, couple, uh, our guest from a couple weeks ago, Troy Reason, if you're watching tonight. I hope you're doing well. And he was our guest, and he was talking about dating in the modern age and the modern world, which is really like it's a crap show out there, right? But you talk about the intro, and, um, you know, my daughter – has all kinds of interest. Yeah, I actually, th I think I still have the DMs and I can even read it. Like, like hold on. Please, let me help show yourself. Because it's all about the intro in terms of <laughs> what, how the tone of the conversation is going to go. Like, you said it yourself. As soon as somebody says, hey, sexy, I doubt very much they want to collaborate with you on a project <laughs> about personal fitness. I, I our, don't know. Or building a brand. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Um, or, hey, babe, or uh, what you doing tonight? or love that profile picture, or can I see one with no clothes, or can I send you a pic? Like, uh, these are all, like, the tone <laughs> is so shady, right? Yep. But I believe that there is a way to properly communicate. It is. But you know what? Um, sometimes you can't really blame society because, you know, people got you get used to certain things. Right. And because people get used to certain things, they don't really take pride in anything else other than what it is that they're doing at the moment. Right. So it's been the system has been broken, and it's going to take a long time to fix, <laughs> even if we can fix it, but probably can't fix it. Right. You know, people don't go on dates anymore. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no. Just, people line, just do dating? Tinder. No people just dating. do Tinder. <laughs> no one's dating. What do you like yeah. to do? I really like dinners, you know, with wine, some candles. He goes... What the hell is that? <laughs> you know what we I'm say like, all the oh, time? so Tim Hortons. You know. <laughs> Drive through. You know what we say all the time? Julia and I say this all the time. Th there's these dating apps, but let's be honest. Who is actually dating? No, no they're uh, requesting our presence at 2 a.m. in the Tim Hortons drive through for some chill time. Uh, that's a whole other show at another time. But the point is, is like, you're right, you know? And people's, uh, people's way to communicate... Um, I, I don't know. Like I say this in general terms. I think they've lost the eloquence of how to communicate. Yeah, like for example, Go ahead. this dude says to me, and I would like to thank a current streamer who's my favorite streamer uh, for bringing this guy in my direction due to a retweet because he's a you know a big guy. So all these people be messaging. He goes, he goes, my true love is right here. Just let me know whenever you're trying to get all this love and affection and dick, little lady. Mm, okay. <laughs> Okay, but and you and you said, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm crying, deceased. <laughs> Some people accept that, you know, and then when they accept that, you know, he feels like he can continue to do that because you might not bite, but somebody else will bite, you know. What I mean? Right, right. So and I'm over right. here like, I don't know you. You live yeah. in where does this person live? I think he lives in Texas, <laughs> and I'm like. What? Yeah, Texas. sure. I'll, I'll I'll take you up on that offer. Uh, what flight? <laughs> like, really? What like, flight? dude. There's just like all these people are even like, hey, mommy tongue, or yeah. like, uh, hey, mommy hey tongue. what mm -hmm. you doing tonight? It's three in the morning. What do you mean tonight? Like, you mean right now or like <laughs> later on tonight? Like around six, six ish dinner hour. <laughs> like, and I'm just like, okay, you know what? Gets, we get we get like all yeah. kinds. And what's and what what do you always say about? Um, <laughs> You know how you said, and I appreciate this, you know how you said that uh, you are a conversationalist yes. and you are um, someone who appreciates 
communication and someone who is interpersonal, right? Um, well, what are your thoughts? This is to both of you, because I know what my thoughts are, and uh, to all of you as well. I think well. I'm thinking of my thoughts. I don't even know what she's going to say. Someone messages you with, hey, hi. Oh, I hate it. Hola. Oh, that's cool. Um, what's up? Like, like one word like, or, or sup. But you but you don't know them like yet. And you're kind of like, I don't know. Because I, I remember you saying once that you're like, I'd like for people to maybe put a little bit of effort because your one-liners are so clever. Yeah, I, it's like, yeah, continue, sorry. Yeah. I, I wish I could show you one now, but uh, this one person kept messaging me on Facebook, hey, and I would say, hey, and they would say, hi, and I would say, hi, and they would oh say, hola, and I would say, hola, <laughs> and then it just kept going. No, and you then, hang up. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and then I would leave it for a few days or maybe a week, and they would come back and be like, hey, and I'll be like, hey, and it would go on. And I'm like, yo, say something. You message me. What do you want to say? You know? <laughs> to and drive then, you crazy? Yeah, and then they would continue. And then I'll be at work, and I got these numbers that I have to punch in the system, and I got to count all these stuff, and I got to do these. And I'm like, yo. And then they would message me, hey. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> block. Yeah, <laughs> like, sorry. I can't do okay. the crazies. I got to ask you. Know? I can't do <laughs> the crazies. <laughs> that is something you would sure. say. I can't do the crazies. I know. And there's a lot of, oh, I know. <laughs> what, um... How many people have you had to block over time? My block list is probably long. It's long. We yeah. should, we should compare when people, notes. Because <laughs> yours is pretty long, too. When they, when they ask for when they ask for nudies, I, 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 I immediately block because I, I, like, like I'm not a kid, you know? Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me for nudies because yeah. I'm not asking you for nudies. Right, you know? right, I would never right. ask you for nudies, so don't ask me for that shit. You know, I fucking block you. Fucking block you too. It's okay. It's okay. Can anything goes. That. Anything you goes. Yeah. No. 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 Hopefully, kids yeah. are watching this. But yeah. 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 No. 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 I, I get it because yeah, you're I, you're passionate about what you're trying to say. And yeah. you know what? Two weeks ago, well, every every time, but two weeks ago when we were, we were talking about this too. You know what I find? I find that um, men have no problem sending you unsolicited. I said this before. I'll say it again. Unsolicited pictures of their, you know, private parts. Oh, I have but they're a story too shy about to that. talk on the phone. <laughs> Like, do you know what I mean? This is where karma gets in. Because you know what happened one karma, time? Karma. I love karma. Okay, so one time I went to McDonald's, right? And I was paying with uh, Apple Pay and stuff. So I just gave, gave my phone like this. And this person sends me a photo of his, you know, of his penne pasta. Okay? His pin. Right. We get it. Okay? We get it. He sends this thing. Comes right up onto my phone, right? And I'm like paying and i'm like this and then the lady who's getting the who's trying to get the money i'm like scan it she goes <laughs> <laughs> it closed and i'm like oh yeah and i'm just like Only this you. wasn't i didn't ask for this oh my God. and i even said to the person I'm like i hope you know that everyone at mcdonald's just saw your mcdick thank you <laughs> It's just one of those things where it's like, okay, I could be doing anything. You could be doing anything, I anywhere, know, and then I this know. picture just it pops up. I know. What if, like, you have like your co little cousin playing on your phone? Oh and my ding, god! Hello. We're gonna go back to the blocking for <laughs> one second, but I just wanted to acknowledge that um, Christine says, "Hey, thank you so much for tuning in." Helen Murray is watching. Hey, Helen, thank you for tuning in. Jimmy says, "Is it Jim Rocks or Jim Rocks?" As in Jim. Oh, as in Jimmy Rocks. Well, Jimmy, we know you rock. Oh, and, yes, and, and Andre's Jim Rocks and The Rock Rocks. So, I mean, we're just talking about Dwayne Johnson there for a minute. And um, <laughs> Jimmy, we've got Red Tan. <laughs> Love the way that shirt fits you. Thank you. And then Don't we all? Followed by Jimmy's call. <laughs> it's not the shirt. It's the camera angle. <laughs> Great, Jimmy. Great. Thank you, Jimmy. It is the <laughs> camera you. angle, but it's also the shirt, Jimmy. I know. Lots of love. <laughs> and Red Tan says, doubt that. <laughs> um, let's talk about the uh, the blocking again. Sorry. You said that um, women ask you for nudes. You're not asking them for nudes. So they ask you, what would constitute uh, you blocking if they if they get too aggressive, yeah, if they're they too pushy? If they get too aggressive, yeah, I, I, I pretty much block. What's the craziest, if you can say, and again, I want to be respectful, uh, what's the, the craziest thing that's happened? Like, like I'm sure you get propositioned a lot. I'm sure women message you. What are, what are some things that kind of happen and you shake your head and you're going, this is an immediate block versus this is okay, but then it ultimately gets to a block. Is um, it just because of the flow or lack thereof of the conversation? So if sometimes I block people just because they might say something rude like, you know, someone would come on and be like, all oh, you guys are fucking gay. You oh, know, my God. I'm like, okay, so you, a 
clearly start judging and then just block, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crazy. You know, like I have nothing against gay people, you know what I mean? But don't just come and just like hit like that, you know what I mean? And so what if people are fucking gay? Like, yeah. who gives a shit? I hate when I mean? people use that word yeah. as like a but, insult. Um, it's just the direct hit. Yeah, and without like, knowing you. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. like, do you even know who I am? Did right. you even have a conversation with me? Right. You know what I mean? Especially when we go to Montreal, you know, it happened in, Mon- it happened in Montreal a few times. You know, so I just block these people. Like, I have no time to waste on waste mans. <laughs> I love that saying. <laughs> I actually, u- I usually yes. hate the other slang, but that's yeah. one that that's I kind of like. That's a good one. Like. That's <laughs> a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I've There's been no using room that for any of that. No, I have no time. Right? Yeah, so I have no time for that. So <laughs> It's because that happens because you're promoting so much of what you're doing, right? And then they just come out with your comments. Is that what happens? Because I'm assuming that that's what... Repeat that one again? Yeah, like if you're promoting what you're doing and people start to see your... Uh, because when you're on social media and you're promoting and people start to see like you are more visible, all of a sudden uh, p- people don't know you and they're just throwing out judge. these. Yeah, yeah, pretty much um, like we would have posters like these and we would send these posters over Facebook. And, you know, some people would make crazy comments like, why are you on my page if you don't like me? You know, oh, why are you okay, trying to okay. show me love on my page if you hate me, if you don't like what I do? You know, get off my page. Find some other page to go on, you know? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Don't yes. come on my page and like pretty much gay bash you know what i'm saying or or or, or, or bash at all like or even yeah. just judge in go terms of what you're doing that. yeah go yeah. somewhere else with that so, so that's an Im- th- for sure that's an immediate block immediate block and um and um what was the other thing i was gonna say and, and like you were saying about the intro to conversation i really do think that's that's very important like listen we're women are flirtatious right um we want to we're very expressive just like men are very expressive but i also believe that there is a certain way uh to communicate i don't know going right for the jugular right away i think it's a bit of a turn off no it is it is i would think in in both ways because if a man comes to you like that you should just chop him off right away are you kidding i chop something off right away (laughs) (laughs) oh it's like the club tales you know no No, it's so many stories it's true it's true you know i i just want to mention uh frank nastassi is watching hey Frank, how are you? Vanessa's watching. Hey, Vanessa, thank you so much for tuning in. Red says, I like pics of the guy's smile, not dick pics. Oh, Way too. more attractive. Thank you. Absolutely thank you. I just want to say, if I could, please, um, a couple of things about, so I, everyone <laughs> knows my backstory, and if you don't, I'll share it sometime again, but um, I decided to join Tinder, and it became a science project to the point where I learned so much and I'm actually writing about my Tinder tales because I think it's really nice. important, you know? Um, having um, just become single um, suddenly and very tragically because my husband passed and all of a sudden, like, uh, as someone said here, I just saw it, sorry. Fern says, I hate dating apps. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm, um, oh, I'm sorry. J- Jen McCallum says, Jim Rocks is my, is my fave Jim. <laughs> and anyway, my point is this. <laughs> my point is, is that... Uh, like i want to see the person right so i didn't know i had to go to my kids and go like what pictures do you post right so you want your post linkedin a- picture <laughs> no but i'm saying like you want to post like full body pictures you want to post pictures of you your style your personality and everything because people are looking at you and they want to know that if they're attracted to you in order to maybe take it offline to want to meet i get all of that right but you know what this is what I find too. Sometimes um, the smile in the eyes, you can s- tell a lot about smiles and eyes, yep. right? And you can tell a lot. So I'm totally with that. But so many times, like all I see is pictures with sunglasses and you can't really see. Or the shoulder pic or the one shoulder pic with the sunglasses with a fish in the background. The fish and it's blurry. or like, you know, <laughs> every, or the fish. pickup truck or, <laughs> you know, or, or they're hiding their age and location. And you know what I say? If you're hiding your age and location, what else are you hiding? Like this is my – but my point is is that they're good – if they were used properly, and I think that they're good for what they were trying to do, but there's so much – non-purity and and <coughs> fakeness that goes with these online dating apps you know so, so um <laughs> or social media in general you, you know google if you're trying to find anything people are going to say google it yeah mm-hmm. whatever you're looking for google it yes. you're not going to there's no other way maybe there's other sites you can go to to find things yes but google yes so google is that brand tinder is a brand for hookups 
Right. Mm -hmm. So when you mention oh, Tinder, yeah. Yeah. it's hookups. Yeah. So these people that are on Tinder, and most of them, they just want to hook up. Yeah. That's There's the no rare. relationship <laughs> building. Well, yes. So Google is, I mean, um, Tinder is branded for hookups. So yeah. if you're on Tinder, guys are going to think that you want to hook up. So right. when they tell you, hey, what are you doing at 3 o'clock in the morning? Just tell me, hey, I'm on Tinder waiting for you to message me, you know? <laughs> Waiting that's for what you it to is. message me you at know? 3 a.m. That's Can what I it tell is. you something, but though? If I could say sorry, no, Julia. Like, no, I was just going to say um, I joined it because I was curious. And um, like anything else, I, I always want to – I'm an inquisitive mind, right? And you know what I realized, Andre? And Julia knows this. Um, there's a lot of younger men that really like older women. Uh, they actually <laughs> prefer older women. I didn't know that until I kind of got into the scene on this. But more importantly, um, there are actually men, believe it or not – that are looking for their wives on there. Um, they're just, you know, and it's interesting to see because, yes, it's branded as that, but depending on, you know, who you come across or what the intentions yeah. are. However, n I will say this, 90% of the time, if everybody was honest right off the bat about what they're looking for and being on the same page, it would save a lot of hassle, True. right? Can, can, can anyone who's watching the show send us a message if you've had success on Tinder with a long term relationship. Long term, like what, three weeks? <laughs> long, maybe, maybe a year? Oh my God. Oh, but you know what? Our friend, she did, and she got married to the guy she met yeah, on Tinder. Yeah, and my, and my friend, yeah, my, uh, one of my it. good friends from uh, okay, college, so we have, she's married we, to him. We, we have two, two out of yeah, like I, a billion. I pretty much want to. <laughs> no, I know. Well, the only long term relationship that I, that I found on uh, Tinder is actually friendships. I know two people from yeah. there that I've known probably for like about three years. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was like, eh, I'm not looking for anything much. Uh, don't get any ideas if you want to hook up because it ain't going to happen. Uh, I'm just <laughs> looking for something genuine. Like, do you want to like go for like for, for a ice coffee, cream? ice cream? Do you actually want to get out of your house in your mother's basement? Like, we can go <laughs> chill. <laughs> okay. Heather Linus Lindsay is watching. Hey, Heather, how are you? Lovely. Uh, Red says, yeah. or three or more. Oh, my God. This is perfect. Or three or more people, and you have to figure out which one is them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, where's Waldo? Like, seriously. And okay? then you get you get closer <laughs> to the third, and you're like, okay, there's less of them. This guy has been in every single one. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> oh, Swear Annie, to God. Annie Howlett, uh, thank you for tuning in. Jim Rocks is the best. Andre is simply amazing and professional at what he does. Annie uh, Howlett, she's awesome. <laughs> thank you for tuning in, Mandy Nicole. Shout out. So yeah. Mandy Nicole, thank you. Fern says, "Nope, sorry, lol." <laughs> um, no, but it's true, and and we could we could talk about this all night. So I, I wanted to. I'm just trying to be cognizant of the time. You won't believe that an hour and twenty minutes has gone by. No, I'm. I. I an hour and twenty minutes has gone by, and uh, this has been really fantastic. I we, we at this point in time, what we do is we kind of start the close out kind of the cool down of the uh, okay. of the uh, exercise program yeah. right yeah. and we talk about final thoughts but we also do any shout outs that we want to do any promotion that we want to do <coughs> and um i i find you and i find your story i know that we could have dug deeper and i could have asked even more questions about um you know about your life and about your story i will ask you this if you had to describe where you are at in your life right now how you feel about where you're at in your life right now with with how you've grown, how you've developed, where you're at. One word, what what do you think it would be? Uh, wait, I would say awesome still, success. Um, but it, it for my my story or what you're asking me, it needs pretty much a, a minute, just a minute Go for worth it. of talking. Um, pretty much in Jamaica, I was just trying to get by, you know what I mean? I'm trying to reach the top as you would say. And I went to the bank to borrow money to do like a taxi business. That didn't work. Try to went go to friends to borrow money. That didn't go well. So I couldn't get that push to get to the top. So what I did was I, I, I came to Canada. And as soon as I came to Canada, I started working at Good Life. On my first two paychecks, I bought my first taxi in Jamaica. So the bank wasn't giving me the money. No one was lending me the money. So I came here to Canada, worked at Good Life, took my first two paychecks, bought the taxi, insured that, and put it on the road first. Right. Spent four years, saved all my stripping money. <laughs> my stripping money. <laughs> my good yeah, life money. That's it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Too. And I freaking went back to Jamaica, and I opened my own gym. Nobody would lend me the money, so I used my own money. 
I bought properties here in Canada. Oh, wow, that's and great. I opened my own gym. So I would say that it's pretty much my, my story. I would say that's wow. a success. Coming from, z- coming from negative zero to where I'm at right now. And I'm not rich. I don't have money. I just invested money in properties and in my gym. Yeah. I have just, I would say, equity or assets. But that's much, amazing because you, know? you invested, you worked hard, you have a mind for business. Um, and, and you know what? You said it earlier. Like when you say get to the top or make it to the top, what I know about you from what I can, can tell is that you want to be, you know, make a modest living. You want to be comfortable, but you always bring it back to people and making people feel good and caring about people. So I'll give you uh, two examples or a couple examples. Not, not a lot. I'm not going to take up a lot of time here. No so worries. in 2000, uh, no, 2012, I just started Good Life in August, in, in July. And my first full month was August. And then September, I met a lady. She was from um, the islands, not Jamaica, though. And she came to the gym, and she wanted to get a membership. and then, But she couldn't afford it. And she went back to her church, and she said, she came back to me, and she said, my church said I shouldn't do it because Good Life is too expensive. And I'm like, do you really want to do this? And she said, yes. I said, have you done this before? She said, no. I said, why do you really want this so bad? She said, because the doctors told me if I don't do this, I'm going to die. Oh, I was boy. like, okay. What do you do for work? She said, I'm a cleaner. I clean houses. I said, um, how much do you get paid? She told me. When we broke it down, she really couldn't afford the gym. So I said to her, I live in an, an apartment. I can clean myself. I said to her, listen, I will hire you to clean my house, and I will pay you twice as much as you would get if you clean somebody else's house. Oh, so whatever wow. you're asking for, I'll give you more than that. So I gave her twice that amount, not once per month, but twice per month. So I had her clean my house twice per month so she can get that money to pay for the gym and have extra money in her pocket. She did that for me from 2012 until 2016 when I was going back to Jamaica. That is amazing. And then wow. she used the money, the extra money to join the gym. She and joined other the gym. Now, that's amazing. there was uh, two stipulations to this deal. The first one was to buy what we call a four-pack of personal training, where she would pay $149 for that training one time. The reason for that is because I wanted her to learn how to use the machines so when she comes to the gym, she can do it by herself. Right. She had 150 bucks in her account, and she said, I'll do it. She went to the bank. She drew it out. She came back, and she paid for that um, personal training session, and she got the membership. The other stipulation is you have to come to the gym three times a week. A week, yeah. And if you're not going to make it, you call me, you text me. And she came to the gym three times per week for the entire time. And if she couldn't make it, she would text me and say, Angela, I can't make it today. I have some stuff to do. But she messaged me, and she did that for, um, from 2012 um, until 2016. Wow. 2016, she came to me and says, Andre, I'm getting a job in this place. I need you to be my referral. And I did. And when they called me, I told them, listen, if you don't hire her, you're mistaken. Because she's going to be the best worker you'd ever have. She got the job. That's amazing. I went to Jamaica for two years. That's amazing. So So that is a success story for me. And that's why all these people are saying how amazing you are and that you are very giving and that you care about people. Because you know what? Someone else, I don't know if they would have done it, um, but you went that extra mile. And that's important. We need more people to go that extra mile. And I I got no benefits from that. But I did that because I wanted her to be a success story, and I wanted her to have a, mem- a membership. Oh, that's amazing. How's she doing now? Do you she's know? She's great. She came to see me the other oh, day. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> she's bright. She's really bright. Shout awesome. out, shout out. And that's she's still in the gym. Oh, is she? That's yes. fantastic. So that's amazing. Wow. Shout out to you. My, my other success story is that when I went to Jamaica in 2016, I worked at a gym because I wanted to find out how the system worked there. When I went to the gym, I met a kid in the summertime. His name is, I'm not going to say his name, but I met a kid. He was uh, 15 at the time. He was working out. His mother got a summer membership for him. Okay. From July to August. I love that she brought him to the gym. Give him, put him in that right frame of mind from now. So he worked out for the summer. September, he came and said, Andre, I see you. I'm done. I'm going back to school. I'm going to use the school gym. I said, how is the school gym? Is it good? He said, no, it's shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, but how are you going to work out? Good, he said, I'm not going to really work out properly, but I'll do my thing. I was like, okay. I was like, okay, do you want to stop the gym? He said, no. Can your mother pay for the gym? She, he said, no, my mom is not going to pay for the gym and school at the same time. I said, okay, you know what? Come to the gym still. 
no worry about it. He said, you sure? I'm like, yeah. So he had a friend with him. So I paid for his membership and I paid for his friend's membership oh, wow. from that, from September all the way back uh, until I got a director position at a hotel in Jamaica as a director of fitness in Iberia Star. When I was leaving, I said, don't worry. I'll pay for your membership still. So I paid for his membership, even though I wasn't at that gym. So I kept continuing to pay for his membership until school got really busy, maybe like February, March, he stopped. Amazing. When I opened my own gym, I brought him with me, and now he's at my gym, and he has uh, a free membership. I gave him a free membership, because that's my boy. You know? Wow, that's and amazing. He's going, he goes every day, and you would never believe he's 18 right now, because he's, he's, right. he's jacked, wow. right. and he knows about fitness, he knows how to train, and he's super young. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So what I did, I, when I used to drop him off at home, and when I used to drop him off, he said, don't drop me in front of my house because it's, they will shoot you if you go there because he lives in a bad area. Right, right. He said, drop me at the top of the street, and I'll walk down, and I would drop him off. So this kid could have been shooting people. He could have been influenced by these people, but instead of that, I took him to the gym, and I gave him hope. I showed him that, yo, there's way more out there for you. You know what I mean? So now he can be a personal trainer, but he's not. He's working at a store next door to the gym, and go into the gym still. And you showed him a positive Amazing. outlet. You showed him Amazing. that's okay. Round of applause. So that's Great success, success stories. <laughs> For our live studio audience here in Hollywood. Yeah. out the show i just wanted to mention here ryan says andre has earned my respect for all the hard work and dedication he has put into his craft keep up the good work bro you inspire me to achieve my best as well ah ryan thank you man thank you ryan that's so nice uh tara wilshire obin i believe uh, andre is amazing fern says andre that's awesome Heather, Linus, Lindsay, roar and stuff <laughs> with the heart. And Fern, lots of red hearts there. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, so let's round out the show. This has been really fantastic. I know you want to do a few. Just this? Absolutely. Cave. Yeah, so guys, go for it. You can check us out at Club Cave at Islington and Bloor. Club Every cave. Friday and Saturday. If you're getting married, I might even a bachelorette. Go. Yes, you should come check it out. If you're getting <laughs> married, if you're doing a bachelorette, if you're doing a birthday, if you're doing a... If you drank uh, too much wine. Yeah, if, you're get, if you want to do a <laughs> I'm getting over my man's party, you can come there still. Let your love hair it. down just because. I love it. Yeah, and right? just go crazy. So yeah. you can do that every Friday and Saturday. Kay. This here is an event. It's going to be on August 24th. I'm performing. And three other guys from the U.S. are coming o over to perform. So guys... You could check us out. It's on August 24th, 2 p.m. to 12. After 5, guys can come in. So it's going to be a mixture after that time. But between 2 and 5, we're going to be performing. Right. Come check us out. The tickets are 39 bucks, actually 40 bucks. But I will honor a 20% discount. I'm going to confirm that 20% discount. If you inbox me and let me know you're going. And say that you watch the Anything Goes show. Yes. So that's awesome. Yes. And that's me for now. And you could take over. No, no, no. Thank you. No, thank huh? you. I'm glad you did that. And, of course, um, follow Andre and uh, any events that he's at uh, or anything like that. You know, he posts and he'll, uh, he'll be updating. So, um, Julia, final thoughts for tonight? Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Final thoughts. Uh, for once, I don't actually don't have a final thought. We always have something to say. Um, Do you want to sing something? No. Um, you can. <laughs> no. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, Whose birthday is it? Mine. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> Julia's favorite happy birthday. <laughs> I do like an accent with it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Very nice. Very nice. You do it better than the performer singing. Unbelievable. Can I get an amen? Chat. Amen. That's my final thought. Happy birthday to whoever. Uh, so we've got, yeah, we've got, uh, it was great. Thank you, sweetie. Candace Clark, brother, I'm so proud of you. Red says, did you go to Argyle Academy? I don't know what Argyle Academy I, I is. Know. Yeah, what's Argyle Academy, Red? And he says, Think, that's Andre. He ain't making up stories. Bless him. 
That's fantastic. Thank you so much. So you know what? <laughs> Listen to me. I want to give us a little bit of credit here because somehow we always manage to find really, really good people to associate ourselves with. And um, I, it is, I believe that you can tell a lot about people on social media even without knowing them yet. And through the way that they engage, through the way that they present themselves, through the way that um, other people engage with them. And you don't have all these connections and followers because you're not a good person. You know what I mean? Uh, um, and so that's, that's really important. I just wanted to say with my final thoughts tonight is um, we are really, really happy to have you on our show, Andre. Happy to be here. Thank you. And really, I'm glad that I've been able to, you know, get to know you throughout the course of this time planning for this because I talked to Andre, you confirmed this like over a month and a half ago, probably even yeah. more. And uh, we have such a, a line, a fantastic lineup of, of people, Andre being part of it, of course. So thank you again for sharing your story and um, for, you know, just there's a lot of women that are on the line and I'm telling you, they were messaging me all week and they're like, where do you find these men? <laughs> we're like, we just open our eyes and look. But anyway, um, so thank you again. My final thoughts, you guys, is um, Andre mentioned this and we mentioned this a lot. Do not, don't ever judge a book by the cover. Uh, just because someone um, does something for a living that you might not be used to or out of your comfort zone or you don't know someone or you're not really sure what they're all about, you know what, get to know them. Uh, get to know what they're all about. We're all human beings. There's no room for hate. Uh, everybody is um, should be in a loving, supportive community environment where we support one another. And if you uh, actually ask questions and keep an open mind, you might actually meet some fantastic people along the way so that is my final thought I do have a couple of housekeeping items we will be back next Thursday night same time same place with our lovely Victoria Laureate yes. Fabish yeah she's our resident psychologist and next Thursday we're gonna be talking about bullying we're going to be talking about bullying in school. We're going to be talking about bullying on social media. We're also going to be talking about how to get rid of toxic people once and for all and why do we put up with these people when we know better, mm -hmm. okay? Delete I now and block. Delete yeah. and block. <laughs> I, don't know I now pronounce Audrey's you Audrey's list is very long, he says. That's it, that's you right. You may now kiss my ass. <laughs> Julia's l list of delete and block is pretty long as well. Um, I also want to do, uh, Julia and I want to do a shout out excuse me, to our sponsor, James Casco and James Casco Real Estate. Thank you, James. I hope you're well. If you guys are looking to buy, sell, uh, want to know about real estate investment, uh, hit him up. He is on Instagram and uh, he is on uh, Facebook as well. So thank you, James. Um, I also want to mention, well, Andre mentioned about his event, August 24th, Enough Said. And our summer series uh, continues we have some more special announcements coming up. Stay tuned, guys, because this is only the beginning. So thank you so much. Thanks again, Frequency 5 FM and Maria and Joseph. Oh. And, uh, Frequency 5 we'll FM. You guys next week. Have a good one. Thank you, guys. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs>